Hello people and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, welcome to the family. It's really nice to have you. In today's video, we are officially going to be trying some of Sheen's makeup. Now, I've already unboxed or unbagged them, but I haven't completely got them out. So they are still in their packaging, so I haven't even seen the actual items. I just know that they were all in there. So if you're ready, let's go. My Sheen parcels just arrived. We're going to open them and let's see what's in them. Okay, so I think these are the stackable lipsticks. The lipstick and lip liner in one. The foundation. And I think this is the Alien makeup set. I'm gonna start by clipping my fringe back so I can actually see what I'm doing and I, we can get to my whole face and stuff. I will also be using this mirror so I can obviously see up and close up personal because my eyesight is not good. And I'll be taking my glasses off, so I'm going to be officially blind. <laughs> so I've yet to actually open this out of the styrofoam. Um, it is massive. Ooh. This is cool. Okay, so this is kind of like a PR box. It's, it's not. I had to pay for this out of my own money. But it feels like a PR box. You know what I mean? You always have those fancy packaging on PR boxes. Uh, oh, it's upside down. There you go. That is cool. Look at the artwork. That is nice. <gasps> you get some free glasses with it. I mean... I'm gonna be beautiful after this. Oh, super beautiful. You tell, you can't, you cannot tell me you don't rate this. I'm sorry, but this is the coolest I've ever looked. This is the best I've ever looked. I'm blind, but it's actually pretty good in terms of blocking the sun out. But I can see the top of your, hello. <laughs> That is amazing. They do have a really weird smell to them though. But, you know. But at least if I ever decide to dress up as an alien, I've already got the glasses. I'm already halfway there. I just need to be green now. It does come with a beauty blender, but I'm not gonna be using this one because I've already got one. And I'd rather stick to the one I've got until obviously I need a new one. I don't wanna start a second one when I don't need it quite yet. What is this? This is a highlighter. Now, obviously I'm gonna be doing things in order. So I probably, if there, I think I've got eyeshadows. I think that's what the massive thing is. So I will obviously start with that and then I will try the foundation. The highlight is actually pretty round. I wasn't expecting that. I wish I could be able to get this out because I kind of want to know whether, is that full circle product? Or is that full circle just packaging to make it obviously look like a UFO? But I also don't want to break it. In a weird way, I kind of want to smell it. Oh, this has a weird smell as well. But I think it's the packaging. I think obviously they try and clean it, but the packaging just smells weird. Where was this made? From what I've heard, apparently... I saw someone else talk about uh, She Glam and the overall reviews were positive. However, the other thing that I noticed were people were saying that the makeup actually comes from the same factory as Tarte. I don't know whether that's true or not, but if it is for the price, I'm actually gobsmacked. Oh, so, okay, so this is the eyeshadow palette, and I thought it was going to flip up, but it actually twists. Is there a mirror? No mirror. They are some nice colours, and they, they've pressed in. It's hard to show you and keep it open. They've actually pressed in, like, an alien, a UFO, the galaxy. That is pretty cool. Oh, then this comes out, and you actually get more. The pen things are eyeliners and then the little stars are lipsticks. You get quite a lot of lipsticks. They are really hard to get out though. Now that we've officially unpacked 
this let's start with some of the eyeshadows shall we i'm not really sure what look i'm going for so we're just gonna wing it and see what i come up with obviously everything here is green so i guess i'm going for something green <laughs> I've also got my actual makeup bag next to me so I can grab things that I haven't bought. Like I have bought a foundation, but obviously I do not have a powder to set it with. So I'm gonna use my own powder. We are going to start with some Jupiter, I think, which is like this little alien face. I'm gonna go inside his forehead. Oh, it, it I dabbed it a little bit and there was quite a lot of flat, um, loose powder but I've only dabbed it a little bit. I'm not going to put any um, primer on my eyelids, usually I would but I'm not really going out anywhere and I kind of want to see if this is pigmented alone. I don't really want to use the primer and go oh my god this is so pigmented and that's because I used a primer. Oh, that is pretty good though. Considering I only did a tiny little dab. So I did a tiny little dab and there's quite a lot of green on there already. I feel like I could probably get a lot more product. Oh, that is nice. That is quite pigmented for doing just a little swatch. Like, that is nice. I feel so bad for the little alien, though. I feel like I'm ruining his pretty little face. Okay, now I might go around with black hole, which I feel like I don't need to show you. It's, it's plain black, that's all it is. I'm just gonna do a little, that is just a tiny little dot. Now that is pigmented. That is pretty good. Now anyone who knows me, that knows me, I'm always wearing black. I've always got black eyeshadow on when I am wearing makeup. I'm just always wearing black. So this, I love a good black eyeshadow and I can go pretty ham on this one in the sense that I don't need to worry about ruining a pattern that's been dropped in. It's quite nice. Like a little dot of, from the brush goes a long way. Like obviously it needs a second coat, but for doing just one dot in, in the powder, that is pretty good. Like just doing one single dot. That is good, right. Now I'm gonna go back to the other side because I started my finger on the other side and like just one swatch, one little dab, that is a lot of pigment. I, I know that you might think, Shania, you're going over the top, but I'm actually surprised with how reasonably priced these were because they weren't expensive. I mean, obviously it's, it's sheen. But I'm going, I just want to do a rough look here. Try and blend it in a little bit because I, now that I've blended it all out, I want to, <laughs> I want to go in with the shiny green. Now this is called the Big Bang, or, or sorry, Big Bang. There's no the, it's just Big Bang. This one, the shiny green here. There you go, it is really pretty. I don't know why it doesn't really want to focus today though. Ooh. I actually prefer the glitter eyeshadows over the non-glittery ones, the matte ones. Because the glitter ones just go on. And it's not like you can feel the glitter as well. And I hope when you put on certain eyeshadows you can really feel it. This one you can't really feel. But it, it does look really nice. Right, we are done with the eyeshadows. 
Okay, so one thing I have noticed, I don't know whether I'm the only one that has this problem. I came back with some micellar water, I think that's what you call it, micellar, micellar? The, the makeup removal water, right? And I have used a soaked cotton pad. You can see how much green is on there. It has stained my fingers. Like, my fingers were not come off and no more oh, a little bit of green I can't really see it in real life but a little bit of green but it's stained my fingers so uh, that is amazing if you are trying to keep this makeup on all night and at least if it does come off you got a little bit of staining but if I've got a mistake like this I hope it comes off okay so the, the glitter came off it could be the non glitter green that is stained because that is just my, my fingers are green I look like I have dyed my hair green um, obviously I need to redye my hair not, not the point <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner now do I stick with the green colour? we're gonna go in with the green so this doesn't have a shade Oh, Exo Comet. Exo Comet is at the bottom. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> it has got a sharp point to it. It also, I think I should have done a different colour because it matches the green. So it really does depend on what you're what you're wanting it for, but that's nice. I do some swatches of the lipsticks on my hand because I want to um, use a different lipstick kit that I got. You know what, I'm not going anywhere. That'll be fine. That's nice though, that is clean. It's quite a clean line as well. It's pointy, it's sharp, but it definitely matches the green glitter quite a bit. I'm gonna do one of the, the weird colors, the green, and then one of the normal colors because sometimes if you use a color that is not that common it can be quite chalky and odd feeling no okay so that is extremely creamy and super pigmented I tried getting it out of the box and I've ripped the lid off that is one thing that might go wrong I'm really hoping I don't snap it I might just do a quick swatch on my lips now my lips are dry as hell at the moment obviously i haven't gotten them anything on them and i will rub this off and i'll use one of the other ones in a minute but oh i was really worried because my lips are dry and i was like sometimes they go into the cracks or sometimes they really do feel like they're pulling out the moisture but if anything it feels like it's adding moisturizer moisture it feels like it's adding moisture Okay, so it's definitely not transfer proof. But if you are wearing it just so it looks and for comfort, that's that's a shout. It's just how small they are, you can just keep them in your bag. And when you need them, that's good. We will come back to that box because I will use the highlighter out of it. But we are now going to go in with the foundation that I got. I will not be using any primer. I always say this in all of my foundation testing videos. I do not start with primer on videos. I start with primer in real life, but not on videos because I want a range of people to know what it's like. Some people who do their makeup do not use primers, they're just moisturized. So I want to give them a chance to see what it looks like as well, especially as Primers can either enhance the quality of the foundation. Primers can enhance the quality of the foundation or make it worse, especially if you combine water with silicone products. So I, so I always show you guys without a primer, so you know how the foundation works just on its own legs. However, I will be putting powder on today because, in case I need to go out, it, I sort of need it. I'm a greasy ball. Hopefully I got the shade right. So there were loads of shades. There were obviously cool toned, warm toned, 
neutral tones and then you show the tones from that. I got the shade Nude and I am hoping it matches. People have obviously said as well that it does oxidize, but we are gonna see. This is the Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. This is bougie. For Sheen, this is bougie. It's got its own little velvet pouch and it's in frosted glass as well. That is quite bougie. The, the label that shows you the thing, I'm not sure whether you can really see, it's quite holographic as well. I think it's an airless pump. The lid is also embroidered in, with its brand. So I've got my beauty blender. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand to begin with. It doesn't really have a smell. Some of them smell awful, but I think this shade as well is a little bit dark, but I also need to tan. It is summer, so this might be my summer shade, if anything. <laughs> it is a bit orange, yellow, you can really see that, but oh, my chin, it doesn't, I mean, my neck, it does not look that bad, but compared to my face, that looks horrifying. I've also heard this can oxidize. Uh, I think I said that. And on the, the thing, this is the second lightest shade in warm. I am quite a warm undertoned person. So for this to be like this, it's uh, that is definitely not my shade. I look sick. <laughs> I look ill on camera. In person, it's not too bad. But on the camera, that looks atrocious. That is not my match at all. So we are gonna just ignore the skin match for now. <laughs> so the pictures are not that accurate on the website, so maybe look at the reviews. I did try and go off the reviews and I saw someone wearing this foundation, I thought they looked okay. I don't think they looked this yellow. So I don't know whether the foundations are the same each time. I don't know whether they're consistent or not. Obviously I cannot tell. Because this is my first time using it. Who knows, maybe each time you get one, the shade can be a little bit off. Obviously I will be covering this with powder anyway, so we will have to see how that makes it look. It definitely does attract itself to your dry spots, but it does um, hide your pores, which I guess is good. Okay, I have acne, you can see it. We all know that I'm an acne full person. It does feel nice, but I don't know about it. It does look quite drying, especially my forehead. It just looks and feels really dry. I also, I'm gonna put it under my under eyes in my creases because I kind of, in my, yeah, my creases, my eye bags, because I want to see if it creases up. I'm gonna, go with my finger to do the other side because not everyone has applicators and I want you guys all to feel included. Okay, under my creases this side, it looks quite nice. This side, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I've just got a driest one side of my face. I am definitely gonna put the extras on my neck just so that I sort of, blend it out a little bit. I'm just gonna go with my hand because, oh, it's my neck. Who's really gonna sit there and go, oh, girl, you know? Well, actually, a lot of people. Like, it feels so smoothing on my neck, but on my forehead, it just feels really dry. It could be that it is better with primer. I mean, it's definitely gonna be better with primer but I would give you a really close up on my skin. This is it really up close. You can still see my acne, however, it has not creased into 
the eye bags that bad. My forehead is really dry and it's also patchy because it's attracted to the dry patches on my forehead. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my powder off screen and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have finished my powder. I still look quite yellow. I have blended it out to my neck. It does feel soft, but if I'm being completely honest, I still prefer my normal foundation, the sleek, in your tone 24 hour foundation. I just think it's a less drying. While this feels nice, it does attract itself to dry patches. So I do feel like if you've got dry skin, probably not the best shout to go for. But we still have a couple more items to test. Now I bought two lipstick products. Now obviously I cannot put both lipstick products on, but I will give you a test so you at least know. I bought this one purely for concerts and for room saving because I did think it sounded and looked really cool. When I was a kid, when you used to go to Road Chef or Little Chef, whatever it was called, Little Chef, one of the, the UK, uh, side of the roads restaurants they were everywhere but then not really anywhere now you used to be able to get like stackable crayons and you would pull the bottom crayon off you draw with that color that sort of thing i basically got the equivalent of that in the lipstick form of she glam now i got the petal stack colors they look very very similar to the stars so i'm wondering if they are the same quality wise if they feel the same once again my lips are dry i have nothing on them no lip oil no lip balm no lip gloss nothing and the shape it's got the round shape is really handy for my cupid's bow now i am someone who really struggles to put lipstick on the first time because my my cupid's bow my lip arch whatever you want to call it is very crooked i have one side bigger than the other but this was easy to apply and it feels really nice super creamy i like that oh it twists i thought you had to pull it off and i was really worried that you'd break it but you just twist it off and you get each shade off is cool I will swatch these on my arms and give you the full color of it so this is the petal stack one it does come off pretty easily obviously you can buy those setters to set it down with if you really want to but they make your lips really soft I'm actually really surprised. Now the last Sheen makeup, She Glam, sorry. The final She Glam product that I bought is the Glam 101 Lipstick and Liner Duo. So you do get the lipstick and liner in one. The shape is weird. It's cubed, it's a square, which I'm not really sure how I feel about that. This side has the lip liner and then this side has the lipstick the writing does go over the lid so if you are very particular about making the product line up at least you know it's still line up no matter what you do this is not going to be perfect because i'm trying to do it in the viewfinder it does have a very sharp edge to it i'm not really sure though how you would keep that sharp point. Obviously, it does screw out. Actually, how much product do you get? You get that much product. I mean, that's not too bad for a lip liner, I guess. This is how much product you get in the other one. You get less product in this than the lip liner, I feel like, which makes no sense because you're going to use the lipstick more than the lip liner. This is uh, a lot more harder to use 
than the other lipstick products I've used so far from them because the other ones just the others just sort of rolled on they felt really creamy you just they slid right on this one you really do have to try and push it it also attracts itself I got it everywhere somehow this somehow got it everywhere this one also I feel like attracts itself to my dry cracked lips a lot more also I am someone who definitely prefers the lip liner to at least be a similar match to the lipstick this doesn't really match that well it does look okay don't get me wrong but I don't think I would use it as like a go-to the other two I might the other couple I might use as a go-to because they are so soft and I do have very very dry lips no matter how much lip balm and lip creams and stuff I use but I also feel like I look quite like a clown right now but that's my own fault it's okay though it does feel soft it doesn't go into the cracks okay so looking in the mirror I thought it was going to really sink into your lip cracks but it doesn't it does attract to the dry patches but not into the slits cracks whatever you want to call it which is pretty good it is definitely not transfer proof definitely not that one's come off the worst one i think but also i feel like that one caked on a lot more it does come off quite easy with mascarelle water as well so that is good it is not one that you need an oil remover for i might actually go back in with the metal lipstick the mega lipstick should we try the brown oh this smells kind of fruity as well the shape is not perfect at all but but heck it i feel like this is one of those lipsticks as well you'd slowly forget that you've even put it on because it is so soft and lightweight that you don't really acknowledge it's there it's not heavy it's not sticky i do like it after testing just this handful of she glam products i personally would buy again i would definitely suggest it i think i probably wouldn't rebuy this one that much especially compared to this and the stars but for something so handy that is pretty helpful especially if sometimes i do want a lip liner especially if i'm taking if i'm taking photos just to make my lips look bigger this would be super handy because i can just pop it on in the car wherever the location is it is pretty handy it's pretty helpful the foundation i feel like it looks a bit better now that i've powdered it and i've done my whole makeup but i would definitely need to get the lighter tone which is odd because this was the second lighter shade but I'm wondering if the undertones maybe I need to try a different undertone because even though I am warm that to me just looked odd I'm not really sure about it I would definitely have to try the different colors the different foundation shades I do wish that they maybe had a shade tester box that you could buy even if it was just like a couple of like three pound for tiny little bottles of each shade while you would have some that you don't need to use you could obviously give that away give it to friends give it to family but you could at least find your shade if you really do like this foundation so you're not wasting any more money than you really need to this i absolutely loved this it is so cool the glasses the eyeshadow palette is pretty good the eyeshadow palette i was actually surprised by because i was expecting it to be one of those ones you really do need to work it to get the pigment but i really did not need to do that i literally touched it so gently and my fingers are still stained green and i've probably been filming for like an hour now and i've constantly used the mucidera water so i'm not really sure what's going on about that hopefully my eyes will not be oh my eyes i will use an oil-based thing i'm sure it'll come off my eyes such as i've got quite greasy eyelids i got greasy skin there is one thing i have forgot to test though so i'm gonna quickly do that now now i have seen people putting the whole highlighter on their face to be like oh look at that 
I don't really want to do that if I'm being completely honest because I don't want to get this covered in foundation. Nothing is happening at all, like nothing. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna try and get this to focus. It is pure white right now, but the more you work it, like you have to really work it quite hard, then it sort of becomes holographic, but you really do need to work it quite a bit. So I think there's a top layer that you sort of need to go through. That is pretty though. Is this powder? Oh, I just dug my nails straight into it. I just made a new dent in it. That's fine, it's another crate. It was always there, guys. I definitely did not drop it and get it everywhere. Ooh, okay, it is nice on the skin. Um, I think this is definitely for lighter people though or at least not this shade of foundation because it does kind of do that thing where you've got just a straight line of highlighter obviously that's how i'm applying it right now but i feel like you know what i'm talking about it's just not the right shade for me but that is gorgeous now i'm someone who doesn't usually put highlighter anywhere else but the cheeks but i might a little bit of my cupid's bow Oh, that's nice. And it doesn't feel drying. I'm not sure whether it's a cream or a powder. It feels somewhere in the middle. And it doesn't say if it's a powder or cream. It's just called Lunar Highlight Glow. But it does feel nice. Oh, can you see it? <laughs> I have officially finished testing everything now, I think. If you are into cool packaging, then I do highly suggest the, co the Alien set, the Cosmic Come Up set. I'm not really sure on that name, but it's a good set. I like it. I do really like it. And I have liked pretty much everything that I've tried today. I'm so happy with this. I think this is a really good haul, especially for the pricing, because it was quite cheap. But there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please not forget to smash that sub button hit that like button and touch that bell notification button so you get notified every time I post because obviously it does help me and this channel a lot so thank you to everyone who's done that, who's currently doing that, it means the world to me. I post every single Saturday at 8.30pm UK time on the dot so I'll see you next time, bye!